New York Jets wide receiver Garrett Wilson joins us today on behalf of Dr. Teals. I'm Claude Up Montana with Sports Illustrated. Garrett, we have to start off by talking about Hard Knocks. Obviously, the New York Jets are featured in this season of Hard Knocks. I want to know what it's been like for you. Has it been a distraction? Has it been enjoyable? Tell us. Uh, it's been enjoyable. Uh, it hasn't been, you know, a distraction. I feel like, you know, when you have a lot of uh, energy in the facility like we've had the last couple months, you know, there's going to be cameras around anyway. And, uh, you know, I know we kind of gave them a hard time initially, but but the truth is, you know, they've been they've been cool to have around. They they've made the best of the rookie shows. You know, I feel like last year we got off the hook with the way they're coming this year, um, and I feel like that's because of hard knocks. You know, so I feel like they're doing a great job and you know capturing uh, all the relationships, and and it's been you know cool to see. And one episode they show kind of the dynamic between you and Sauce Gardner competing against one another in practice. I'm curious, how does playing against him in practice make you a better player and vice versa? Yeah, I mean, I, I know that um, he's as good as it gets. And for me, you know, it's every rep that I get against him is like, all right, you know, let's see, let's see what works because, you know, at the end of the day, those are super valuable reps. And um, I'm so happy that he's on my team, you know. And, and last year, you know, being a rookie, we both came in at the same time and it was really competitive, you know. And yeah, I mean, I hadn't seen a corner that, that good to that point. And it was good to get it out of my system early and, and you know, get those matchups. But but um, it's it's truly been awesome, you know, working with working with Sauce and being able to go at it in training camp. And, you know, like you said, it makes us both both better. Who talks more trash, be honest? Uh, Sauce talk more trash. I talk trash, too. It's just different. You know, I'm not going to. Sauce will talk trash when the ball thrown to the different receiver. Like, I only talk trash if I catch it, you know. Well, one guy who, of course, is featured very heavily on Hard Knocks is your quarterback, Aaron Rodgers. When you were drafted, did you ever imagine that you'd be catching passes from a guy like Aaron Rodgers? I didn't. I didn't. Um, you know, I've been watching him play for so long. That kind of seems like a far-fetched dream, you know? So so for me, like, now it's, like, it's truly surreal. It truly hasn't sunk all the way in. But maybe once I hear it over, like, the announcer, the PA announcer, and they're like, you know, Aaron Rodgers to Gary Wilson for eight yards. Then it'll fully sink in, but he's been awesome to be around. And yeah, I'm just trying to, you know, be a sponge when I'm around him and, and take advantage of every rep we get together because, you know, he can sling it like no one I've ever seen. And then, you know, off the field, he's he's so smart. And, uh, you know, the way he sees the game is, is truly one of one. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm blessed. You know, I feel like some people have kind of the perception of Aaron Rodgers and who he is based on just stuff that he does off the field. But Hard Knocks has kind of shined a light on a different side of him. What do you think the biggest misconception is about Aaron Rodgers? I don't know. I kind of heard that. I don't know. I don't even know. I don't know. He's great. Like, I heard a lot of things. You know, I heard that, oh, he's not going to talk to you. You know, saying that about the young receiver. And that's a misconception because he talks to all of us all the time. <laughs> More than we even, you know, he'll get on JB and them, he'll get on Zay, like say what's up to them, all that. He talks to everyone, man. So it's, it's just really been uh, great to have him around. And I feel like, you know, maybe he just needed a change of scenery. No one ever think about, you know, that way. No one ever think about the country. You got to think about his mental and stuff. He probably was, you know, bored. Yeah, he also seems like he's helped Zach Wilson a lot. Zach Wilson just seems a lot more relaxed, a lot more comfortable. Um, and I know he mentioned something about that also in this last episode of Hard Knock. How have you seen Zach Wilson respond to Aaron Rodgers just being around? Uh, Zach's been, been um, you know, going about it the right way ever since, you know, the first day that uh, Aaron has been there. And I know that, you know, he put in some work behind the scenes and, and he knows Aaron personally. And, and I mean, he knew him, knew him before we all knew. Him. So I know they have a great relationship, but um, yeah, you know, I feel like he's got a smile on his face every time I see him. You know, he, he's slinging the ball around really well, like really, really well. And it's been, been fun to watch him ball this uh, this training camp. But uh, yeah, I love Zach. And, and um, I know that, you know, he's got the right, a great head on his shoulders and he's been, you know, going about this, this um, yeah, this new challenge the right way. You guys are getting ready to kick off the regular season. I want to know, what would you define as a successful season for the Jets? You know, making the playoffs, I feel like, I feel like making the playoffs is, you know, where you always got to start. And then once you're there, you know, you got to be hot at the right time. So um, we talk about it in the facility. Coach Hack talks about it all the time. We got to get hot in December. And for us, you know, that means, you know, keep constantly building, but we're playing our best football at the end of the season. And once you get into the playoffs, then, you know, who knows what will happen. And uh, yeah, you know, that, that's kind of the mindset that we have in the facility. 
Lots of Jet fans are certainly excited. And I know that you've teamed up with Dr. Teals. Tell us about your partnership with them. Yeah, so uh, Dr. Teals is something I've been using since I was in seventh grade. Um, my mom used it and um, I would always steal her salt. And then, you know, as I got older, she ended up just, you know, getting me my own. But it's something that had to be a part of my routine because, you know, when I didn't use it, I wouldn't feel the same. Um, and this, like I said, started in middle school. And, you know, the night before each game, I would take a, a hot bath with Epsom salt. And it was, you know, the way that I could feel good that next day. But, um, you know, now I'm blessed to be working with them still. And, and it's something that, uh, it's something that, you know, I, I feel like, I, like I said, I feel like I have to do. So I'm truly, you know, excited to be working with Dr. Teals. And uh, yeah, I try and, you know, tell everyone that I can that Dr. Teals is something they need to add to their, to their routine to maximize themselves, get that full recovery. There you go. All right, got to ask you one final question. It's a college, college football question because you went to Ohio State, and I'm sure you're aware that Ohio State and Michigan is one of the biggest rivalries in college football. Ohio State hasn't beat Michigan in two years. This year, they go to Ann Arbor. What would it mean to you to see your Buckeyes beat the Wolverines in Ann Arbor? Um, I mean, it would be awesome. You know, I feel like you say it hasn't been two years, but before that, it was like 10 years that we had beat them in a row. You know? True. So, it's going to switch back, and uh, I'm confident it'll be this year. They're going to handle business up in Ann Arbor. I'm not worried. You know, I feel like if they win the game, I'll be, you know, happy. But I feel like that's what they're supposed to do. You know, I was just in the robbery a few years ago. and So um, I'm excited to watch that game at the end of the year.